first you're gonna wanna have your hair. I have today, I have Kima Braid. Let me show ya. Kima Braid Color Jet Black. This is um, the Brazilian Twist, actually. Let's see if you can see that. Brazilian Twist 20 inches. Yep, that's what I got. But um, this is pretty much what the hair looks like. I guess it's breast length. <laughs> I don't know. But this is what it looks like. It comes up to her bosoms. And um, this is what type of hair it is. It's very nice and soft. And um, it does last a good two weeks. But with my mama, <clears throat> knowing her, she's going to keep it for about like two months. and <laughs> Because I'm making a wig into it. My mom will keep hair until it's really like done for, you know, it's time to throw the dirt in. She will keep that hair. But this hair is really good. To me, this seems like an older pack of hair. I don't know. You got to be really careful when buying this. Because when I buy it in the store, it seems like it's been sitting there forever. Like, it already, to me, it looks a little weathered. But what can you do? Uh, I try to get the real fresh one. Uh, but to me, it looks like it, it's a little... To me, it looks like it's a little weathered or whatever. But it is really nice hair. This is the Brazilian Twist. And I got three packs of those. And I'm going to be cutting these in half. I have three packs of these in 20 inches. Color one, which is jet black. I got three packs of these. I'm going to be cutting these. I'm going to probably cut them in half. And cut a little bit off the end. You know, just... My mom likes it really full, so I'm going to be cutting them half and cutting them at the end. So because I'm going to be making a wig cap, I brought Miss Vivica Fox's. If the thing would focus on come Come on, focus. I brought Miss Vivica Fox's Cornrow Pro Cap Horseshoe. Horseshoe shape. And um, this one is a 1B. I didn't know you can select colors, but I guess. This one comes with combs and uh, it's horseshoe style. Yes, this is a creative everyday styles. Yeah, yeah, no. But anyway, <laughs> it shows it on the back. I ordered this on um, Amazon, actually, because my local beauty supply store did not have this they did not have this it was sold out then i tried to go to the store next door and they tried to cheat me okay i know how much this costs and they knew okay they knew that this was sold out in the other store so they raised their they literally doubled the price this is worth seven dollars they tried to charge me okay they tried to charge me Fourteen dollars for this. I say you out of your cotton picking mind. You 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 all out of your cotton picking mind. Cause I ain't paying for this. I ain't paying double for this thing. So what I did was I ordered this on um I ordered this on Amazon for seven forty nine I believe, but no shipping. I um, I have the Prime so. So I'm gonna be using this. This is a small. This comes in a small, and I I know you're thinking like a small. It actually fits my mom. It fit my head, and I got a I got a nice little size head, and it fits my mom's head. I would say it's more. Their small is more of a standard, to be honest. Cause one time I brought a large or a medium, and it was too big. So a small is pretty much like regular. And then I have this lovely lady here. She's Mm, she's definitely toe up, man. My goodness. She definitely looks beat up. I mean, I got some good use out of her. I, um, yeah. Yeah, that ain't look like she been. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I got some good use out of her. She, she has a lot of bowls, uh, but yes, this was literally so cheap. I don't remember the price, but it was what, like two, two dollars, three at my local beauty supply store. At my local beauty supply store, y'all. I had this for about like six or seven months. This is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to put the cap on here. And then I'm going to hook this young lady up, right? Isn't that right, she? But, mm -hmm, girlfriend, I need to go because, you know what? I have a date and nobody... Okay, I'm ready to try to crochet this onto my mama's head. Onto my mama's wig. I forgot to mention this thing here. Yeah, I did forget to mention this. This is like a, uh, well, it, I'll just show you. <laughs> so you basically put the wig on top of this and 
Okay. I put a little tin foil in it because it's too loose and it kind of slides off. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this to the bottom of the table. I don't know if I'm screwing it. I think I'm screwing it wrong. I gotta turn it the other way. You're just gonna wanna keep the mannequin in place while you're twisting so it won't slide off. I try to push it, push it on there a little tightly. Just really squeeze it upwards. And um, I brought this from my beauty supply store. This was literally a couple of dollars too, probably three to four. I will have the exact prices for everything in the description box. Sorry if I don't know it off hand, cause like I said, I brought all this stuff literally a year ago, so I don't remember. But I think it's on there, pretty firm. Okay, so I have it in place. I'm gonna put the T-pins on the wig cap. I just kind of put it in areas that I'm probably not going to be crocheting anytime soon. Turn this big knobby headed. Put one in the middle. I'm going to put one here. I like to put them in different spots on the head so it won't move. This is where her ear is. I'm basically poking the crap out of your ear right now. And I'm going to put one on this side. I think it should be pretty stable for now. That's decent for now. And of course, you know, as you start crocheting where the um, the T-pins are, you just start removing them so they won't be in your way. That's all. So I did get my bottle of water here. It's been peeing on itself, as you can see. I did get my basic bottle of water here. I'm going to start spraying the hair and trimming it. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half the way it is. Let me cut you up. Let me let you cut you up. See, you can have it. You're the customer. There we go. All right, so now, see, now you have more hair. So I have like two halves of this hair. But I'm going to trim some more because it's too long for my mom. This is basically what it looks like. See, these are the blunt ends I was talking about right here. This thing is so ugly. But as time goes by, it definitely will disappear. It'll start becoming wavy and it won't look so moppish. Okay, I just wanted to come on real quick and show you before I cut it again how it looks when it's cut in half. So this is how it looks cut in half, right? From the 20 inches. So this is 10 inches. Actually, it's 5. This is 10 inches. But when you crochet it on, it'll be 5. I guess that's 5 inches. And this is what it looks like. Let me see. This is basically what it looks like on the mannequin. How long it will come down, that's too long for my mother. So I have to cut it shorter. But that's basically, if you start it all the way down here, that's basically what it'll look like. Cut in half. Okay, so for me, I'll probably be cutting... I didn't really measure, just kind of have an idea. I'm going to be cutting like this much off. Sucks. Yeah, I know. I know, y'all. I know. Sorry to see you go. I'm so sorry. This is about decent... I still think it might be a little too long, but when I get it on the mannequin, um, I'll crochet it in first, and then I'll start trimming when I'm finished just to have a desired look and give it a nice shape. But this is pre pretty much what it will start looking like on the mannequin for my mama. Yep, that's pretty decent. Okay, so let me spray the hair. Let me spray the hair. Make sure you spray the hair saturated because sometimes it does have a coating. But this hair actually doesn't have any coating on it. So you guys should be good. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. Now, free trust? Law. Tons of coating. I mean, that's that's his middle name is coating, coating, coating. Too much for me. So, um, you don't, I don't like making them too small to be honest. This is good enough for me, especially it's the back. I'm going to start with the back first. Okay, y'all see that? So this is, this is pretty decent for me. I'm just going to separate some of them. Sorry, that's not in camera. Separate some of these. So I got about three pieces out of them. Okay, so you could, and the good thing about this, you could tilt the head up and down, back and forth. So for me, I don't like to start at the very bottom. I like to start on like this row. So that way my mom can pull it down and there's no hair all up on her neck. 
So I try to start on like the third row. But you could start on any row you want. But for my mom, yeah, I like to leave a little of the, the braid just hanging out just a little bit. I just went through the whole braid. You can go through one half of the braid, the top half. I'll show that. You don't have to go through the whole braid. But you can go through the top half of the braid. So I take this. One loop. Two. I'll do about three. And pull it like that. And pull it tight. That's one. Then I do another. So I'm doing it at the top of the braid this time. I'm just try it. And slide it in. Take it off. Go one. Now sometimes, like, I just want to show that right there. See how the hair is real short right there on this side? That's good and bad. I mean, you could leave it like that. So that way the hair is, it's not so uniform. There you go. It's not so uniform. But when it's really short, it could slide out when you're trying to make the knot. So let me just be a little careful in making, and it got stuck on my fake acrylic nail and pull this tight tight and I just kind of go some people can do more knots but this hair does not come out for me it doesn't I wanted to zoom in just to really show you I don't know for some reason the back I just been going under the braid but when I get to the front or the very top the middle y'all can even see that when I get to the top or the middle of the hair I like to start braiding on the upper part of the corn roll. I don't know. I guess to make it look fuller. I don't know. Three. Pull. Squeeze it. See it is. Sorry, my fat thumb is in the way. Let's see. Let go. Okay. See, no. No. Okay, so I'm just going to take it. See? They do slide. You got to be really careful when it's shorter hair. I got to find that piece because I feel it's going to slide out soon. I see some of it sticking out. If you see it, just kind of pull it. Slide one. This look real scary right now. Keeps getting caught on my acrylic nail too. Three. I think that was three. It's going to have to be three. <laughs> she won't know the difference. And that's it. So I'll just come back when it's like halfway or, you know, halfway done. And I'll come back and show you what it, my progress so far. But you see the length when I cut it again. That's pretty decent. Although, it still might be a little long. I'll probably have to trim just a little bit. But like I said, I'm not going to trim, trim any more. I'm going to trim after I finish the whole wig. Just to give it a shape. I will be back, y'all. Don't forget. I will be back when I get about halfway done with the head just to show you. And I will be showing the front of the head. Okay? Don't go nowhere.